in this video i'm going to show you how to go from this complicated windows 11 look to this it may look simple but there's a whole lot to it in this video we are going to look at rectify 11 and many more so without further ado let's get started the first thing we are going to do is to customize our start menu the Windows 11 start menu is nice, but I don't like how you can't fully customize it to your personal view. However, we have a powerful third-party software that we can use to take our Windows 11 start menu to the next level. And it is called Start11. Alright, to get Start11, you just have to go to their website. I will leave a link in the description down below. It's a paid software, but I recommend you try to see if you like it and then definitely purchase it because it's a really really great piece of software right to install start 11 it's pretty easy it's just a standard windows 11 installer so very simple just nest 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 so once start 11 is installed just open it up and you'll need to start 30 days trial just enter your mail and just confirm that and it will come up with this i'm just gonna choose enter a line and i'm going to go with this windows 11 style there are various different styles you can go with. You can use the Windows 7 style one which looks like this. It looks pretty cool if you are really into Windows 7. There is a modern style one which is pretty much looks like the Windows 7. I expect it got a different design. It's a bit more kind of Windows 10 style. Speaking of Windows 10, we've got the Windows 10 style one which we can go ahead and select that. As you can see, we've got the Windows 10 styles that has come back and we've got all our applications on the left side here. So yeah, if you do like the Windows 10 style menu, for whatever reason, you can apply that. I'm personally going to go with the Windows 11 one here. So yeah, that's what I like. So you can customize this to death and it's brilliant. So if you go to the configure menu from here, you can obviously customize the link down here. So there is all the link shortcuts. Basically, I'm going to remove the ones I don't like and keep the ones I like. So I believe that documents, download, music, picture. We've got a control panel shortcut here, which is really good as well. And we've got Windows settings. So yeah, you can add or remove this you don't like and keep the one you like. I personally don't really have much music on my computer. So I just remove that shortcut. I might mess up around with the layer a little bit more, but yeah, next up, we can go customize the menu virtual appearance. So you can choose an automatic color for your start menu, which I've got on, but you can also choose your own color using this color picker. You can make the menu bigger or smaller which is really good to see. So I can make it massive and it's going to pretty thick the entire screen. In fact there's an actually a full screen starts menu which we are going to take a look at in a minute but right now I'm just going to reset it and have it at 100. Now you can adjust the transparency which is so good. So right now it's on 94 so it's pretty much like a solid color but if I make it this look at that it just looks so good i love the transparency that looks like a frosted glass and i really like that you can change the visual effects on your menu so you can round the corners of your menu animate the opening you can disable that if you have a low mpc and it's very helpful offset the menu from the taskbar here as well, you can even use your own image as the start menu background, which is pretty cool. Here, you can do that and then just select a photograph or whatever. But I personally like having it, this looks really cool. Let's head back to the configuration and scroll down. Here, we can disable show recently added apps, which is going to prevent new added apps from our start menu. And I really prefer that. Here, disable the recent document and look at that. Wow, this is my favorite feature in Start 11. Right, we can increase the size of our icons, but I'm going to go with the medium and this turn our start menu to the full screen. Look at that, it's massive. We can make our start menu open showing all the program lists and I really don't like how I have to go back anytime I open my start menu. We can turn off our search box which is really a game changer because we can still search when we open our start menu and start typing. However, 
is pretty much all I want to change. You can feel free to look through and see all the exciting features that 11 have. Right, our start menu is looking pretty empty and I recommend you pin some of your favorite applications. So head to all apps, right click on your favorite app and just pin it to your start. I'm going to pin some of my favorite app and so should you. Nice, with start 11, we can create a group and pages to separate our applications and I found this feature really cool. To create a new group, right click anywhere on your start menu. Select create new group and here you can drag applications to the new groups and even rename the group and it's pretty cool right? Right. To create a new page, right click anywhere on your start menu. Select create new page and with this we can right click on any application and add it to this new page. So feel free to customize start 11 to what you prefer and let's move on to the next step. Right, I know you agree with me that Windows 11 look pretty cool than the previous Windows 10 and other Windows 7 and the rest, but also have some bad downsides. If we open our control panel, we are on the dark team but you can see it's not working on everywhere on our windows. And not only that, even the ascent color doesn't go with any of our windows applications, but with this powerful tool, we are going to transform and unleash our Windows 11 to the full potential. This tool is called rectify 11 it was basically an operating system built on top of windows but now the developer has made it an installer that you can download from the github page and install it i will put a link in the description down below right to install rectify 11 double click on the installer it's going to run as an administrator once you open it click on install now next agree to the terms and conditions here you can choose what you want to be rectified i'm going to select all and click on next here we're gonna select our desired theme i'm gonna go with the dark with Mika and click on next here we choose our desired context menu we want to go with but i really like the enhanced frowns menu with more options so i'm gonna choose that and click on next and now click on install to start the installation once it's done, you need to restart your PC. I think it will do it for you. So yeah, we'll be back once it's done. All right, guys, it just restarted and here we are in the Rectify 11. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. And we have also got this really nice desktop background going on here. So yeah, now our Windows team is consistent in every application we have and it really looks pretty cool with this new contest menu and the rest. So yeah, now we have rectified our Windows computer. Now we need to install this third party tool that take our Windows 11 to the next level. This tool is Mika for Everywhere. And what this tool does is that it adds some kind of transparency to our application's title and you can even take it further by adding the transparency to the whole application. So to install this tool, head to the GitHub page and download it. To install it, it's pretty simple. Just run the installer, install for all users, which is recommended. And just click on next 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 to install once it's installed open it up you are going to see it in your system tree here just click on it to open i recommend you turn on run on startup and also run as administrator on startup once done go to the global rules in the backdrop type select acrylic go to the explorer tab and also in the backdrop type select acrylic too and you can see the new acrylic look on our desktop. Wow, this is pretty cool and I really love it. We all know how challenging it is to have a lot of applications we normally use on our desktop for easy access. Now, we have a solution to it. With this tool, we are going to create a Mac like dock for Windows, which is going to contain all the applications and shortcuts we want to get right into it without any long process. This tool is called my dog finder. It's a pay software and it's really really worth buying it. But I'm going to provide a link to the previous old version which I'm going to use in this video and it's free. So to install this dog, extract the zip you downloaded. Then copy the my dog folder and paste it in your local disk.
Once done, extract the backup file I have provided in the link below. Open it up and copy all the files and paste it inside my doc folder you pasted on your local disk. Now, open the LAN folder and delete the Chinese. You can, you can keep it if you're a Chinese. Once done, head back, scroll down and run doc64.exe. Wait for some second and there it is. This is pretty cool. I love it. It really looks like Mac Doc for Windows, right? Now, if you had any error installing this doc, I recommend you install the VC2015 in the My Doc folder. Right. Let's right click on the doc and select preference. Here, click on advanced, scroll down and click on manage backup file. Select doc for windows backup file and click on ok twice. And there you have it. This amazing my doc finder which is on your desktop. And it's really cool, right? Let me know what you think in the comment below. Actually, I don't want my dog to be at the bottom and I also want to get rid of this finder on top of my windows. So let's go back to the preference again, turn off my finder, scroll down, turn on start on boot, which will make your dog start anytime you restart your computer. Now go to the general tab and here you can adjust our icon size, icon zooming size. We can adjust the distance between them. We can adjust the dock distance from the edge of the screen, which is really cool, right? We can change the dock screen position, which is left, bottom, right, and top. I'm going to go with the right, which is my personal preference, so feel free to choose yours. We can choose between our multiple displays when we have two or more desktop connected to our PC. When we go to this minimize that, we can change how when we minimize our windows it should be. And I'm going to go with JLI, which is really good, right? There is a lot of features in this dog here. Feel free to go through and make it your own. Right, if you want to add any applications to your dock, just drag it onto the dock and it's going to be added. And also, we've got this launch pad on this dock which will keep all our apps that we want to contain in it. To add a new app to this launch pad, right click on the launch pad, select add icon, drag and drop the icon into this and just click on OK and you can now see it on your launch pad. Now, hide your desktop icons and change the wallpaper and it's really going to make your windows look professional. So guys, that's this for this video. I recommend you subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you for watching. Bye.